Alright guys, today we're going to be doing something a little different. Um, there's this product shot that I've been wanting to do for uh, quite a while. And, well, this week I finally decided to get the stuff that I need for it and to go for the shot. But, while planning the shoot, I actually thought, hey, this might be fun. I might make a video out of this. So... If you're interested in product photography or my photography in general, stay tuned. If you're not, that's fine. I'll see you guys with the tech videos next week. But for now, for all you photography fans, let's have a look. All right, so there are these coffees that we sell in Finland. And they have a variety of flavors. Now the shot that I want to take is with all of these and something symboling their flavor. So I think the best thing that we can do is just hop straight into it. All right, let's go. All right, so first things first, I wanna get myself a nice backdrop slash reflector here. And I'm gonna do that with my very simple way that I make most of my backdrops for all of my product shots. So let me do that. So the way I do it is very simple. You grab a couple of uh, clamps, put them on some back, well, background, cardboard, whatever. <clears throat> and when you place them right, the clamps will keep the cardboard upright. Then I'm just going to take some a white sheet of cardboard and then attach it to the back cardboard with some paper clips. And there we go, very simple white backdrop for the shot itself, which will be presented here. Now for the background of the shot itself, we need some coffee beans. I don't know if this is enough, let's hope so. It smells so good in here right now. Now, these are all expired coffee beans, so nothing's going to waste. So, you know, not necessary, but feels like the right thing to do. <laughs> then I simply want to start figuring out how I want to place the different flavors. I'm thinking the normal, more normal ones at the top and the little different ones on the bottom. So we have the brown on top and the colored ones on the bottom here. If you're doing something like this, it's a good idea to check the framing every now and then because you don't wanna make a scene, get everything correct, check your camera and see that it's not possible to frame it in the in the format that you want it for example I want to make get the shot in a one by one ratio for social media Instagram and such and I want to get one in a more wider format possibly 16 by 9 So this is now a whole one kilogram of coffee bean, right there. Oh yeah, this is now perfect. So now for the flavors, I got some stuff uh, before, well, yesterday. And what I got was a vanilla bar 
an actual vanilla for uh, the vanilla flavor, chocolate for the chocolate one, and mint for the mint one. So I think these will go quite nicely. By the way, I had no idea that vanilla was this expensive as it was. All right, so the camera overheated and um, uh, I got all of the accoutrements uh, or the flavor depictions around the bottles. What you're seeing right now is some smooth, uh, more or less smooth video of that, what it looks like right now. And now the only thing that's left to do is to take a couple photos. So in terms of the angle, of course, a great, the simplest ad is the one that is straight from top down. Um, I'm going to take some of those, but I'm also going to take some with an angle because that's just more inviting, I would say. And for once, I won't forget to up my f-stop because that's a mistake that I have done many a times that I'll leave my f-stop too low and only part of the photo is in focus. While that's cool for normal, normal photos, in terms of ads, it's kind of bad if some of the products are in focus and some of them are not. So remember to check your f-stop, right? Now that that part's done, I just want to switch it over the composition to the 16 by 9 version. So let's do that next. Now, this is the 16 by nine shot, so it's spread out more wide. And this is basically the, to get something like a wallpaper or something larger than you can use on like a banner or something on a website. You wanna give them options. All right, and that's the six, 16 by nine shot, so so what you could do here at this point is to go for some more, I, I would go for something like with the bottle standing up one by one, if this was an actual product that I was, if, if this was an actual job I was doing. For this, this is pretty much the shot that I wanted and uh, I think we got it now. So only thing left is to edit, edit it. So I'm gonna go do that and I'll see you then. So the photos are now edited and you can see the finished products here. There are the two one by ones, so these are the social media ones, and the 16 by nine ones, which you can use for a banner or wallpaper or something more wide. Now I did notice a few mistakes, some things that I will have to fix for the next time, and some challenges that I, you just need to get creative to get around. One of them was that the one of the four bottles, well, the chocolate flavor one, was glossy while the others were matte. So reflections became an issue real quick. Another issue was the fact that since the vanilla flavor was done with a bar of vanilla, well, it's not too easily noticeable. So you have just two sticks. It's kind of hard to make out possibly what it is without having the flower itself it's kind of hard to uh, depict the flavor of vanilla. But out of those four photos, which one was your favorite? Let me know in 
the comments below. And if you like the video, if you, if you enjoyed this process or like the photos, make sure that you like the video as well down, down below. Consider subscribing to the channel for more photography and technology videos that I do. I hope you all have a great rest of your week and I will see you guys next time. Okay. Bye.